مانتو وحده بشي ستيد يلا بات انتهي وحمد حوينا وكسو بغضي حفيز كيسة وفتي انكسو عدا جمعدو غرما كرد حيسة اوهو قامين ايو ارقيق قاركا حوغيا جمعدو غرما كرد حيسة جيمس سوان مركي وهري سيما هاو سمالان يما دو حرو يمرنتي ارقيق وهري ينما هادو رقبا ينسو مري سيدي مدحونا دو سودو وي وفتيغا وحنا لقاها لا يامورك الدوان يا سيدي لا سوكا شان لها وحنا لقاها وضعها لا مشاريع دا هيدها كالدوان يوين تركنا كوضان سيفي عم بالي سواف كرتي وحنا لوهشين وضع شقينت هل كان لقاها سي وضع لسي حوتي انت سامك صورة مالي قولي هان مكالا شو انتي لصوت دوبو سرقي مدحوينها يو يو يرقي كاركا امباستر Jimmy Swan. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Good morning, everyone. First, I would like to thank uh, President Musa Bihi Abdi and the people of Somaliland for the warm welcome that I have received uh, during my visit. It's good to be back in Hargeisa. I first visited in 1995 and again in 2012-2013. Even during my brief visit over the past two days, I can see the progress achieved. The vibrancy of the economy and the general security that has been main maintained both underpin confidence in the future. I've held good discussions with President Bihi and his ministers. We discussed the importance of building on Somaliland's achievements Critical to that is finding ways of resolving differences peacefully and constructively and maintaining open channels of communication. We also discussed the importance of completing the necessary preparatory work to proceed to credible parliamentary and local elections very soon. And in this context, I'm very pleased to have noted the agreement reached among political parties just yesterday to move forward uh, in preparing for elections on an early timeline. I also had the opportunity during my visit to see some of the work that the United Nations family is undertaking to address both immediate humanitarian needs and longer-term development goals here in Somaliland. Yesterday, I visited a skills production center supported by the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR. It was inspirational to see the practical training being provided to equip refugees and asylum seekers to support themselves and their families and also con to contribute to the host economy and the community here in Somaliland. I also visited the Civil Service Institute, supported by the UN Development Program and the Ministry of Interior. It was interesting to meet public officials working to overcome the challenges of developing local government, which is both accountable and responsive to those using, using local services. I look forward to continuing my connection with the authorities and people of Somaliland, and I will take this opportunity once again to thank President Bihi and his colleagues for their support to UN operations here. 